हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आस्क्ड इन गेट 2006 एग्जाम इट्स आल्सो टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन यू गिवन दिस डायग्राम एंड दिस टेबल इन क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली दे आर ट्राइंग टू काउंट नंबर ऑफ वंस इन अ 32 बिट अनसाइंड इवन इंटीजर यूजिंग दिस सर्किट ओके फर्स्ट लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन व्हाट दे आर आस्किंग द डेटा पाथ शोन इन द फिगर कंप्यूट्स द नंबर ऑफ वंस in the 32-bit input word corresponding to an unsigned even integer stored in the shift register. The unsigned counter initially 0 is incremented if the most significant bit of the shift register is 1. Then you can have a look at this diagram. Next they are saying the micro program for the control is shown in the table below with missing control words for micro instructions i1 to in. The counter width k, the number of missing micro instructions n, and the control word for micro instructions i1 to in are respectively. Okay, so what they are saying in the question is, you are saving a 32-bit unsigned even integer in this shift register. 32 bit unsigned even integer is saved in this shift register. Okay. Then you are trying to count how many ones are there in this number. Okay. What can be the maximum possible number of ones? 32? No. If you think that a 32 bit number means 32 bit ones, that means every bit is high then you are mistaken because you are not considering this thing. It's also an even number. Even number certainly needs to end with the zero. That means you can make every bit high except for the last one. The last bit needs to be zero. Rather in any possible combination satisfying these conditions, the last bit will be zero. Last bit is kind of fixed for making this number an even number. Now, why is it so? I've already discussed this in digital logic videos. Anyways, you just try to convert this number into decimal for finding an explanation to why this is zero. You'll realize that this much part will always be an even number. Okay, because it's 2 raised to the power n into either 1 or 0 and 2 raised to the power n where n is greater than or equal to 1. Only here n is 0. Okay, now multiplying 2 raised to the power 0 with 1 or 0 makes the number a negative, uh, sorry, odd number or a even number. Okay, you just work it, work it out. I've explained it in many videos that's why I'm not repeating this concept. Anyways, now there's this k bit counter. We need to find out what is the value of k. So you know, you need to count from 0 to 31. That's a 5 bit counter. No, 5 bit counter can distinguish between 32 different combinations because 2 raised to the power 5 is 32. Okay. Okay. So, value of k here is 5. That means, in the options, you can reject option number A, which says 32, 5, 0, 1, 0. Answer is either B or C or D. Okay. Let's now move ahead. What is happening is, say there are some numbers saved in this shift register. It's 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 and something. A 32 bit number. Whenever this last bit is high, that means whenever this bit is 1, the counter gets incremented because this last bit is connected to this counter as an increment signal. Okay. Whenever you shift left, this one 
will be outputted on this line okay as a result this counter will be incremented okay that means whenever you shift left automatically the counter will uh, be incremented if the number is one the last bit is one in case the last bit is zero no change is going to happen that means the counter will not be incremented okay now that's how the counting takes place do we need to consider the last bit this last bit no we don't need to consider it we'll just shift this 31 times for all of the 31 bits because last bits last bit is going to be zero anyways you don't need to shift it 32 times okay now what they're asking next is the number of missing micro instructions n <clears throat> there must be 31 micro instructions because you need to shift left 31 times yeah 31 times shift left for these 31 bits that means value of n is 31 from i1 to i31 there are 31 missing micro instructions let's see the options yeah so option number c and d are left now okay the option b is rejected a was already rejected now we need to find out what is this signal that means what is this control word i hope you already are you are already familiar with this terminology control word micro instructions and all that my, what's a microprogram? We have already discussed this. Now, reset counter. Will this signal be zero? Yes or no? This signal has to be zero because you can't just reset the counter in midway. Okay. Whenever you begin the program, you have already resetted the counter once. Now, when the first bit is given to the counter that means you shift left once the increment signal will be given to the counter based on this uh, most significant bit if it's a one then this signal will be high if it's a zero then it will be zero okay that means for all these values you are not going to reset because anyways you don't want to lose the count midway only after analyzing the 31 bits you can re reset the counter that means once the program ends then you'll reset the counter okay so this is certainly going to be zero then for every instruction the only thing that we are doing is shift left this increment signal is automatically generated that means for each of these 31 micro instructions this bit will be high okay then there's this load output signal are you going to load output after every one uh, or after every bit is shifted no certainly not because you are only going to load the output once each and every bit has been analyzed once the total number of ones have been calculated only then you are going to load the output that means once the 32 bits have been analyzed only then you are going to load the output okay so this bit here is going to be zero okay let me just summarize what is happening the only signal that you are generating for 31 times is this shift left the number is shifted left increment signal is automatically generated whatever is the last bit is considered as an increment signal if this bit is one counter gets an incremented else it's not incremented okay what happens at the end of these 31 bits say there were x number of ones then we incremented the counter x times that means obviously we have uh, consider, considered each and every one this final value in counter which is obviously x now represents the number of ones okay 
that means only signal that we need to generate is shift left these ones rest both of the signals are going to be zero zero then at the end once all these 31 bits are processed then we are going to load the output that means what is whatever is the value here is going to be loaded as the output that means end is double zero one and beginning is one zero zero how is this once you want to initialize this circuit that means you are just getting ready for taking a new number as an input the only thing that you need to do is reset this counter okay just reset it rest two signals will be zero then you can analyze the 32 bits and then in ending you will just output that uh, number on this output screen it can be a screen or a register whatever that's dependent on the implementation anyways let's see which option is your answer so it is option number d yeah option number d is 531010 yeah okay